So number nine, we've got a um, adding question here. However, we have um, decimal numbers. So the one mistake I see a lot of students make with this type of question is they put the numbers in the wrong places in the wrong columns. So if we get that bit right, we have stand a good chance of answering it correctly, as well as putting our placeholders in. Let me show you what I mean. So we can see that we've got a whole number here and a whole number here. We've got 13. So let's write that down first. And forget the rest of the number, let's get the other bit underneath, okay? So we need the whole, we've got no tens, we're not putting anything in here, and we've got seven ones. We may even want to put a zero here, but it's not necessary. The next thing is to put in the decimal points, and as I like to say, decimal points, one underneath the other, like buttons on a shirt, okay? Um, and that's a nice way of remembering it. Then we're going to put the other numbers in, so we've got four, nine, and three over here. And we've got six and eight. Now I've got all the numbers in the right places. I must remember to add zero as my placeholder. That way, if this was subtraction, I would know to borrow. So three add zero is three. Nine add eight is 17. Seven down, carry one. Four and six is 10, plus one is 11. A one down and carry one. Seven and three is 10, plus one is 11. One down, carry one. And one and one is two. OK, what's missing from our answer? You guessed it, decimal point. We need to put that in at the end. A lot of children forget that and will lose an easy mark just because they didn't put the decimal point in. Let's write the answer in the box. 21.173 is 9 times.